What's up, beautiful people? Preston Smiles here from the amazing Byron Bay that has been raining all day. I came out here to get some earthing in and do my hippie thing and to tell you guys about four happiness hacks that changed my life. Hack number one is just because someone emails, texts, or calls you doesn't mean that you are obligated to respond to that email, text, or call when they think you should. I find that a lot of us, especially in this world right now, there's a lot of demand and there's a lot of bells and whistles and, and things going off all the time. And just because someone writes you on Facebook or Instagram or DMs you or texts you or anything of that nature doesn't mean you need to or have to respond to that ever, let alone when they think you should. Hack number two is don't assume because when you assume, you make an ass out of yourself and me. This is a big one, guys, because unless you know the whole story, not out of 10, you don't, you are making up something and filling in the gaps when it's not actually true. So for me, reminding myself not to assume that I know the whole story, you don't know. Until you know the facts, don't assume. Hack number three, and this one's a huge one, just because you're not busy doesn't mean you're available. A lot of us, and this is, I'm speaking to the people pleasers here, a lot of us who identify with people pleasing, which I'm a recovering people pleaser, have this thing where, oh, well, I have time, so maybe I should be listening to someone else's audiobook or, or writing something or constantly doing something for someone else. And just because you're not busy doesn't mean you're available. For me, this is my time. So after I shoot this video, I'm gonna sit and walk around here and take care of me. And if somebody called right now or wanted me to do something, yes, I could look at my calendar and go, well, I'm not busy right now, but so what? I'm not available. I'm not available for what other people want of me. Because you have to understand, guys, in this high demand world we're living in, there will always be more stuff to do. So you get to breathe into that and not necessarily try to uh, fill your calendar all the time. Just because you're not busy doesn't mean you're available. Hack number four is if you are giving, expecting something in return, it's not giving, it's business. I find that this is a big one, and I'm speaking to myself and, and anybody else. Ah, oh, it's raining, guys. It's raining. Yeah. Look at that. Um, sometimes we get so strategic in our giving. We wanna give, 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 but we only wanna give because we're expecting something in return, and that's not giving. You wanna give from your heart, you wanna give from the overflow, you wanna give knowing that there is only one current, the circulation. Shakespeare uh, talks about it when he talks about uh, in Romeo and Juliet, when she says, uh, my bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. What Shakespeare is talking about is the universal law of circulation. I call it the double boomerang effect, where you throw a boomerang here and you receive someone else's boomerang here. But a lot of times, we want to throw the boomerang and go, okay, come back, come back, you got to come back. The same boomerang I threw, it's got to come back the same way, right? The mosquito trying to bite me. <laughs> they out here, they out here, they trying to get a brother. Get off me, get off me. Can you see this rain? It's freaking beautiful. So guys, those are my four happiness hacks. I hope that you're enjoying your day. I love you so much. Blessings and blessings from Byron Bay, Australia. It's going down in a beautiful major way. I am, we are, hashtag loves voice. There are three types of business. My business, your business, and God's business. You see, God's business is reality. And when you argue with reality, you could find yourself in a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. You see, a lot of us spend our lives wishing that we had different parents, wishing, hoping that we had a different boss, wishing, hoping that our girlfriend, our boyfriend, our husband, our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our coworkers would be something different or do something different other than what they are doing.